purpose. Is there any objection? There appears to be none. Speaker. I call the Minister, the Honourable Te Uruo Flavel. Tēnāko, Mr Speaker, Mr Chair. Ka nui te mihi kia tātou e homa. Ko tāma i tēnei pōki te wānangi, tēnei kaupapa, ko roa e noho tāre wāna. Engari, kei te pai. He pai tonu i whakārā ki ngā wangawanga, ngā anipā i te rāwā. O era, nei tātou i tēnei pō. E ruku nei ki te hohuru tango o tēnei o ngā kaupapa i tēnei pō. Ka mihi rā, i te āhua tango wā tātou kōrero. E kore au e hoki ki ngā kōrero ko kōrero hia, engari ka ngana nei ki te whaiwhai hāri e tahi kōrero ko puta i tēnei pō. So, Mr Speaker, I just wanted to address a couple of the matters which are pretty important in the context of this bill. And firstly, uh, to uh, the member Mika Whaitiri around her concern on Clause 7, uh, the advice that I have is that beneficial interest in Māori freehold land includes corresponding interest in all other tr trust property, and this includes general land. That's the advice I have. Um, with respect to the, the bigger issue which has been raised by uh, Mr Hinare and um, not, not too much uh, Mr uh, Davis, uh, but uh, I want to sort of take it through carefully because this is at the nub of the issue with respect to the High Court and the Māori Land Court. So uh, my advice is this, is that the Weepere is currently subject to both the High Court and Māori Land Court jurisdiction, though the jurisdiction of each court is not necessarily really clear. Sections 5 um, bracket 2 and 5 bracket 3 clarify the jurisdiction of the High Court to settle disputes relating to the administration and governance of the Trust and explicitly excludes uh, the Māori Land Court from having that jurisdiction. The proposed change to the, uh, in the SOP removes reference to the High Court having the jurisdiction to settle disputes relating to the administration and governance of the Wipere Trust. It does not explicitly seek this jurisdiction for the Māori Land Court. This is potentially problematic for the beneficiaries in creating that sort of element of ambiguity again. The trust was not created under the Te Ture Whenua Māori Act 1993 and is not subject to all of the Act's provisions or to the full jurisdiction of the Māori Land Court as provided by this Act. The special expertise and knowledge of the Māori Land Court in areas relating to history, tikanga, whakapapa, etc. associated with Māori land, uh, freehold land uh, is absolutely, I think, acknowledged in the bill, as we all know, with the Māori Land Court being given jurisdiction to settle disputes uh, relating to lineal descent, and that's uh, noted in Clause 9, Section 26. The Māori Land Court continues to hold the jurisdiction for matters concerning all Māori freehold land owned by the Trust. Beneficiaries will still have to uh, have affordable um, access to the Māori Land Court in important, related, uh, in, in important matters related uh, to their land and in matters relating to commerce, administration and governance, the High Court uh, has the appropriate expertise given uh, the trust assets are not limited to Māori freehold land. Uh, Mr Chair, the Māori Land Court does not have jurisdiction to hear matters relating to trust property, uh, that is, a general land. Uh, the We Pere Trust uh, are aware of the cost differences between uh, the High Court and the Māori Land Court and only very serious matters uh, unable to be resolved through the disputes process would proceed to the High Court. Uh, Schedule 1 of the Constitution outlines a dispute resolution process involving discussion and negotiation uh, that is used to resolve issues that may arise between uh, Trust Board members or beneficiaries. Uh, the intention, of course, is to avoid any unnecessary court or arbitration proceedings. Uh, the trustees in their submission uh, to the Select Committee, I believe, acknowledge that the Māori Land Court has special expertise and knowledge in areas related to those issues of tikanga, history, whakapapa, associated with Māori freehold land. They noted uh, that the bill continues to provide for the jurisdiction of the Māori Land Court in respect of all Māori freehold land owned by the Trust. Their view was that this ensures beneficiaries will still have cost-effective access to the Māori Land Court in important matters related to their land. And so what we've generally picked up is uh, heard their submissions, dealt with the submissions, and across the board, um, pretty much we're here on the basis of what the uh, We Pere Trust wanted and have agreed to. Uh, so that's where it sort of lands. And in that regard, um, I just need to signal to the member um, uh, from Tetai, uh, from Ikarod Afiti, that we probably won't be supporting her, well, sorry, we won't be supporting her uh, SOP because we believe that it's pretty much covered off. Uh, so I thought I'd just stand to offer up that... Uh, the rebuttal uh, to... <laughs> I'll, OK, I'll stand up straight in here. Um, that we, we won't be uh, following on from the, uh, uh, the, the desire uh, from the, the member, but uh, understand her motivation in putting the submission up. 
um, but we'll leave it on the table for this point in time. Kia ora tata. Members, just um, to restate in light of the point of order taken earlier and the leave granted, the question is that parts one and two and schedules the, se the sorry, the question is that parts one and two, the schedule and clauses one and two stand part, and that the amendments inserting new parts one A, one B, three and new schedule two be agreed to. I call Peter Peroni. Kia ora, Mr.